Hey everyone, Ben Haggett here. I'm the All Prima Bashad guy. I make them, design them, build them. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the 11 by 14 Yellowstone light. I've gone ahead and set it up on the tripod already. Okay, first thing we're going to do is open the box up. You can see the little door here. There's a D-ring. Grab that. And the door opens like that. Now I'm going to lift the lid. I grab over here on the side where, on the cherry, where it's nice and reinforced and strong. Hinges are quite strong, the position control hinges. So if I just try and open the box up, it's just going to push everything around. You got to, they're strong. You got to grab the box with one hand and open with the other. Okay, so we've opened it up. We're going to get ready to paint. You can see I've stored some things in here. Uh, there's a divider, some brushes, these little support arms. We're going to take a look at all that stuff as we go along. Um, this box is an 11 by 14, and I've just cut a couple of 11 by 14 panel. Pull this out, and we'll put this guy back in. And this guy we're going to put on the panel holder. This is the lower ledge. This is the upper ledge. It's all pretty adjustable. This guy goes up and down. That's a spring loaded. And this guy will adjust, go up and down. Really strong magnets there. They kind of have to be just in case you're, if you're painting on something pretty heavy, you know it's going to want to push this down. So you need a fair bit of resistance there. Let's just pop that in. Okay, I've set up a panel that's in the landscape orientation. It'll do portrait. It'll actually do quite a bit beyond portrait. You have, when this is all fully extended, you have 18 inches in between, a little bit over. So you can uh, paint 14 by 18. You could paint a 12 by 16. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at these auxiliary palettes, these side palettes, little wings that go on there. Um, in this case, this is a double. I'm going to pull this one out. They can go either side. Um, this one here. Now you can take a look at what's going on here. Um, these side pallets, auxiliary pallets, they f float over the main pallet. And there's 3 8 inch of space there. And that is to give you room to have your wet paint laid out and not have to worry about scraping it all off before you put the box away. Um, so this is a, a floating system, a floating internal pallet system. Let me grab this one. Put it on over here. And that's that. Those are popped on. Um, now we're going to look at setting some brushes in there and putting on a couple of other auxiliary things, a little palette cup and stuff. So let's take a look at that. Got my brushes and there are some brush holes here. If you want to stick some brush. Okay, this eighth inch uh, thick side palette, auxiliary palette, um, is size for sticking some palette cups on there. I just happen to have a double. Uh, just to be clear, <laughs> The palette cups, the brushes, that's all my stuff. Um, doesn't come with. I'm just showing you how it sets up. Uh, this is a brush cleaner of mine that I haven't even used. Uh, but I'll give you this little carabiner. It's very handy. I've made a couple of holes in the side palettes. So you can do that and hang a brush cleaner right there. So this is the basic setup. This is getting ready to paint. This sort of format is kind of how I would tend to set up. Um, and in a minute, we'll take a look at some different ways you can tilt the box more and stuff like that. And I've made a couple of accommodations to sort of help you do that, make it a little easier. Let's right now take a look at the main palette. This main palette, I use Baltic Birch. It is fully removable, however, if you want to clean it better cleaning or um, 
if you uh, want to replace it with some glass or something. Let's just put those here for a second. These are little clips. And they're magnetic and they retain this pallet, keep it from floating up. I just put a little tab in the back. Sorry about that. I just put a little tab in the back to make it a little easier to lift off. So you can pull it out, clean it. I'm gonna pop this back in. We will go on to take a look at a couple of other setup possibilities. And we'll look at the, the divider a little more closely. And we'll look at some other things you can do with these uh, wings. For right now, let's take a look at the divider. Okay, so let's say that I decided that I want to paint uh, 9 by 12 instead. And I've done my painting. Now I'm going to store my wet painting. So in order to accommodate some different sizes in the lid storage, I just use this little divider system. This guy slides up and down on these little metal tracks back here. Uh, the divider basically, the important thing to remember here is that you get it on that track set up and it just slides straight up and down. Now I can, spacing is 12 inch, so I can store a couple of 9 or 10 by 12s in there. And there my wet, pa wet painting is in there and it's protected. When you're going to reach in and grab your painting, I do have these little, this little notch here. That helps a bit. You're always going to get, you know, you got to grab the edge a little bit. But if you're careful, you can not mess up your painting very much. Um, the other way to do it, this guy will, as you slide straight up, pulling straight up, there's a stop on the end, so he'll pull the he'll pull the panel up with it as it comes. So then you can pull it out and when you get home. And that basically is how the divider works. Again, 12 inches and then again 8 inches. So you can work with some different sizes. Uh, just keep in mind that you can't store multiple different sizes. You're either using the divider here or here or you're not using it at all. So 14, 12, 8. So if you just you can take some different panels with you, and then if, if you decide to, I'm going to paint an 8 by 10, then you can use your divider and you're all good. Okay, so when I opened up the box, I had these little guys uh, stored in there, and uh, they're little support arms for the trays. And what that is for is you might decide that you want to paint with the box in a different kind of orientation, maybe to control sunlight on, on your main palette that might be messing up your uh, color mixing. Uh, or some people just prefer a more flat kind of approach, have the, have the box opened up more straight, straight up and down um, vertically in front of them. So let's take a look at how that works. Okay, so now I've got the box opened up you know, almost flat, or getting close, close to flat. Let's take a look at that. And you get your paint laid out and you're painting more just straight in front of you, which is kind of nice sometimes if you're not using, uh, you know, if your paint technique is pretty thick and you're not getting a lot of paint running around. It does do some kind of weird stuff. The brushes are like sticking way out like that. Uh, the main problem might be your palette cups and stuff. Um, so uh, you can use one of these little guys to flatten out these, these little wing pallets. And that's very simple. It, it's just set up like this. Um, you're going to hook this little arm in this space here. And then instead of attaching to the side of the box, you're just going to Look at here. All right. So now what I've done is flattened out that, flattened out that wing pallet. And I'd probably, let's say I'm gonna do this. So I have my cups handier. 
change a couple of brushes over, do something like that. And you can do that with both of them if you want to, none of them or whatever. For that matter, let's be clear, you don't need to, you don't need to take these with you. Uh, you can just eliminate them entirely. I often prefer the simplest possible approach uh, when I'm painting, and I might not even take the side palettes if I don't feel like I need them. So that's just another possible setup. And you might do that, for example, in this kind of condition, uh, if I were painting this scene right here, which is not too bad, looking over there at uh, Blue Mountain, Black Mountain, uh, I would probably, and the sun was like it is, it's all right, but I'd probably turn the box a little bit. Let's do that. Right? So now I'm in the shade. Now I got shade here. And it's not going to influence my ability to judge color as much. And I'm just going to look a little bit to my, a little bit over my right shoulder to do this painting. So you can do a lot uh, with controlling light just by positioning the box and messing around with uh, different tilts and stuff like that. And these little arms are just to help you do that. Okay, that's the box set up with no wing pallets. Um, another option, there's the double wing pallets and I'm also gonna have an option where you could have a single if you want, or you could possibly get all if you wanted to mess around with trying different things. But here's a, this would just be a big single wing palette. I can imagine, you know, setting up somebody who uses a lot of paint. You know, you might set up um, with your main palette, load it up with paint, and then you treat this as a handheld palette. That would work. Uh, it would eliminate, when you put the palette in, it would, it would <laughs> kind of eliminate the uh, possibility of storing brushes and stuff in here, but you could have paint laid out on this and paint laid out on it works exactly the same and you can use the the support arm if you're tilting the box more and you want to flatten the flatten that palette out you can do the exact same thing that's all functional um so yeah i just wanted to show you that there's another possible uh, another possible option you're just gonna put these in like so to make them, if you want to make these uh, really secure so they don't have any chance of tipping around uh, and getting into paint and stuff, you can take, um, you can put one of the posts in. And you'll see I've notched it on both sides so it can go on the outside or you can uh, attach it on the inside. And that will remove any chance of this tipping around or floating up or doing any weird stuff so that like locks it in place you don't have to do both just one is plenty then I'm gonna go ahead and close up and that is pretty much that um, again this is the 11 by 14 Yellowstone light it is uh, five pounds Five pounds. That's it. And uh, thanks for checking in with me. And hopefully, maybe I'll be able to paint today. Hey, get over here. Look at that dog. Did your dog. Mm-hmm. Good job. All right. See you out there.